All right, guys. So, how's you going today? So, this is uh, going to be a camera update after uh, um, you know, kind of messing around with it. It's been up all night. Um, you know, uh, kind of just doing its thing, and uh, yeah, it rained too again. Whatever. So anyways, um, I had trouble, I'll tell you the problems I've been having with it, um, now, I didn't plug my shock cord in, that's lovely, oh well, I got my, uh, camera charging anyway, but, um, yeah, I had it in the, the window, like, you know, kind of where I wanted it, and, uh, I liked it in the window because um, I was able to see everything in the front yard pretty much. Um, only problem problem being is it always kept losing connection. I don't know why it always did it in the window. I never could understand why it always did that. So I uh, can't have it in the window. I guess facing out towards the front of my yard because it's. I don't know if it's too many walls to go through. I don't know if I could get um, maybe a Wi-Fi booster or something to help increase the signal a little bit better. I don't know. It's weird. And the sensor, the notification sensor or whatever, you know, that is supposed to send you a notification when somebody walks in front of the camera. It didn't work when it was in the window, and I figured it probably wouldn't because, I'm, you know, the glass was probably tripping this, you know, it wasn't allowing the sensor to even pick up on anything, which was understandable, um, but being in the garage like it is now, I, I got it in the garage, and I'll show you that. I took a little video of it, I'll show you on here somewhere, um, of it being in the garage, and... It being in the garage, it actually keeps connection. It actually works fairly well. I'm impressed by that. The battery life is kind of garbage. I don't know how they think it's going to last months. I'm in standby mode, maybe, but you know, we 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 walk in and out of our doors a lot, and that's going to send us send off notifications. Um, so which is going to in return kind of drain the battery after a while. Now, the notification part of it, it sends me a notification, which is what I want, but when it tries to, when you go to connect to it, it doesn't connect. Now, maybe that's because I don't have an SD card in there, because it is set to re automatic, automatically record that's in the, in the settings, so when it does pick up something, like a, a person walking by, it'll automatically start recording. So I'm going to have to get an SD card, I think, shoved in there. I'm going to have to probably see if I can get one. I thought I had a spare one, but I don't think it's any good. And I want good quality uh, SD cards, um, you know, for my cameras. So it's, it takes a little mini card, mini SD card, um, but yeah, so I think what I'm going to do also, because the camera seems to work just fine in the garage, so I think I'm just going to roll with it, but I think if I want a, uh, a uh, true security system that I can kind of monitor all day long, that I can leave on my TV screen, so I can monitor it when I'm at home. Let's say if I'm on the computer. Because I have two computers. I have that old laptop, which is my security system. And my new computer, which, you know, does everything else. Like YouTube and internet searching and stuff like that. You know, it does in-picture editing, video editing. It does all that for me. So, the old computer wanted to de dedicate to just being my security system well it was 
it works in the window. Okay, well, let me explain this. It does work in the window. Like, you can monitor it when you're from home or when you're away from home. But the main problem is that it was always losing connection, like I said. But another thing is... Um, you just you cannot leave it running non-stop you know that's like you can't monitor it all day long because the camera has a timeout timer on it where after five minutes or you because you can change that that time I have it set for five minutes after five minutes it'll automatically shut the cameras down but the cameras are still running you know because they're in standby mode they're just waiting to sense something come in so And I didn't like the fact that it kept timing out all the time, and it seems to drain the batteries fairly quickly doing that. So I think the best bet is that camera, I'm just going to leave it in the garage. I think it'll be fine for that. Um, so I know when, like when UPS is coming or when the mail's coming or if somebody decides to walk in my garage. Again, I get a lot of people walking into my garages. You know, I don't know who the hell they are. You know, it's just people come by, you know, and I don't know who they are. So, it'll be good for that. But I do have to get an SD card in there to, so it does re actually record. Um, but, yeah. But, yeah, it's kind of surprising that it works fine in the garage, but when it was in my window, it, it hardly worked at all. I was actually getting frustrated with it. I'm not too sure what was interfering with it. I mean, it had to go through a lot of walls, I guess, in order to do that. Whereas here, it's pretty much just going through one wall instead of... It's, it's further away from the router now by a little bit, but it's still having to only punch one wall compared to, I suppose, where it went, when it was in the window in my room. It technically had to punch through three walls because of way, the way I pictured the signal... It would technically be going through through three walls, and maybe that's what was severely affecting it. I don't know. But the thing is, is that I wanted a security camera or a security system that I could monitor, that I could actually leave on in my on my TV screen or on my computer or whatever, um, you know, and I could just kind of glance at it throughout the day if I happen to be on the computer. Now I can do that with my webcam. You guys know about that webcam that I have in my front window. That is what's monitoring my front yard. That does not pick up movement, you know. It's it's live feed nonstop. That camera actually is wired directly to the computer because it's a webcam. So, But the webcam gives me issues too. You know, that's why I wanted to get us a security system because the webcam is not 100% proof, you know, that it'll... It's just not quite reliable, you know. It, it Sometimes it lags, it crashes, it freezes, you know. Not all the time, but sometimes it does. So it's just not reliable enough, you know, for me. It works, but it's not reliable enough. Whereas, a, I guess it's going to have to be a, a base station, you know, a wired camera set up where... That can run, you know, all day long and, and all night long, you know, and where I can monitor it. But the problem is, is I haven't really looked into much of these cameras yet. Because um, this company that I bought this camera from, they do make base stations as well, or wired cameras. I just call them base stations because they're more of a permanent solution. Um, they're more expensive, but they are reliable too. So... But for them being outdoors, I don't know what their range is. I know that these cameras, or this camera that I bought, the coldest it can get before that camera will shut down is only 14 degrees. And that's kind of, you know, piss poor for a camera, you know. But I understand, too. It wasn't, they just, they build them for certain jobs. You know, this camera would be good in the house 
if you're watching like the front door or something, you know, if you want to monitor a certain area in your house, it's fine. But these cameras are also rated for outdoor use. But again, if you live in a cold climate like we do, where it can get down to minus 60 at times, you know, it, it's not a reliable system. I need something that's more reliable down to at least minus 40. And I don't know if those wired base stations would do that or not. I haven't really looked into them yet. I've glanced at them, but I haven't fully read their, their details yet. Um, but what I'm going to do also, right now I'm using, uh, when you buy a camera, it does come with a charging cable, but it's kind of short. And you would always have to, um, you know, disconnect your camera or unpull see for me it'd be easy because I'm using the magnet mount so it would just pop off real quick and be done <laughs> but I want it where I can just either leave it plugged in all the time or I can at least just plug it in when it needs to be charged and so what I'm going to do is that I'm actually using one of my old cell phone when I had my last cell phone I had bought another uh, charging cable for it, and that cable is a couple inches longer. Still not long enough for what I want to do, but it's a little bit better than, than what they give you. I'm actually going to buy another one of those cables, but a much longer cable, and I'm actually going to route that along the ceiling and down the wall to the outlet. And then if we need to, we can either plug it in when it needs to be charged without having to really fuss, or I'm just going to leave it plugged in all the time. I don't know if you can leave them plugged in all the time, especially if you're using a 110 volt outlet. You know, of course, I mean, it backs it down a little bit, but you can also hook a solar panel up to these things, which is telling me that, well, if you can plug a solar panel in and leave it plugged in 24 7, why can't you do that with a regular outlet setup? So, um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to, I'm going to order a longer one of those, um, and I'll just, and then I'll just route it um, to my liking. And then I'll just use, um, actually I think I got some left, yeah I do. I got some of these uh, insulated uh, staples uh, for cabling. Can't see that, I guess it's too dark in here. I forgot to plug my damn cord in before I come in here, but um, that'll just keep the wire in place. So I don't have to fuss with it. Um, but yeah, it's kind of an kind of an interesting setup that they have going on there. You can pretty much use a cell phone charger cable too to charge that camera, which which is good because most people have cell phones, you know, and you know, and if they die, well, then they end up having this spare cable laying around. Well, if you happen to damage a cable for your cameras or whatever, then at least you have another cable that you can use in the meantime. But, again, with the camera, um, doesn't really matter if they unplug it, because in reality, it runs off the battery. The, the charging cable is just trying to keep it charged, keep it full all the time. So, but, right now I got it charging. The battery life on that camera is a little bit garbage, um, but that's because the last few hours, I mean, I put it up yesterday, but I've been running it pretty hard because I'm just trying to figure out, you know, what was going on with it because I had it in the window at, at first. The sensor didn't work, which was understandable because of the glass, but when I kind of realized more of that, that the, the timeout would always time it out. And shut shut the camera down that's not really what I'm going for I want something that I can actually put on my monitor screen yeah that's there you go but I want a security system that I can you know that I can leave running and I can monitor it kind of all day when I'm there so But unfortunately, I don't think I would be able to uh, uh, 
hook it up to the internet because you have to have another. See now my camera just went off. So I am I am getting notifications, which is funny. But when you try to go into them, like right now I'm going to try to go into it. It might have been just a cat, maybe that tripped it off. It's working fine now, I guess. Must have been just a cat that tripped it. I don't know, a cat shouldn't be tripping it, but... Whatever. I got the sensor... Uh, I got it set to medium. I probably could set it to light. Or whatever. So it's not quite as powerful, but... It is what it is. So, but yeah, I guess anyways, um, like I said, the battery light's kind of garbage, but if you're just, if it's going to be in standby mode 99% of the time, it's probably reasonable then, because they say that it'll last quite a few months on a, uh, you know, on a single charge, so, but, yeah. So this is pretty much what it looks like. I'll try to get it set up here. Um, like I said, this is in the garage. And I really like the... the it'd be the wide view. It's I think it's 120 degrees. I think that it sees or something like that. Which is, which is a lot. And I'm actually pretty impressed with, pretty impressed with it. So, I got it on my phone, and I'm not sure how good this will show up on the camera, but um, you can pretty much just see what's going on all the time. You can see the four-wheeler sitting there, you can see you can just make out the John Deere. I might have to tweak the camera a little bit more, but as of right now, I'm alright with it. Um, you can see who's coming in and out of the doors. You know, the front, back, side there. Um, I can see... I guess if I happen to see a cat... If I happen to hear a cat fight, I'll be able to just fire up the camera real quick. And uh, I guess pretty much see who's fighting. And of course, down here in the corner, you got your uh, stamp for the date and the time. And then up in this corner, it says the name of the camera. Well, this is just camera one. Not sure if I'll be adding any more. Um, I guess I probably could, but since they're not, um, you can't monitor it. Like right now, as it's live streaming, right now it's it's burning juice, you know. So, and I think it burns quite a bit of juice too, doing that, because it was down to about fifty percent. Um, this morning but it is what it is I got it charging right now um, like I said the charging that I'm using right now is just temporary I'm going to probably buy a longer cell phone cable or something like that that fits that style of camera and then yeah I'll just uh, like I said I'll just staple it to the wall and then, uh, as it's as it's needed, I can just uh, plug it in. Now, another thing that I don't like about this camera, let me get out of this. Let me out of there. Come on. Is the fact? Okay. Well, you also have this talk feature. It's a two-way. Oops. It's a two-way, you know, talking system. You can talk through it. Okay. Well. I've tested that, and to me, it seems to be awful low, the voice, like, unless you're screaming into your phone, they're not really going to be able to hear you. They might be able to hear a little something, but they're not going to be able to hear them. Okay. But whatever. I mean, I didn't really buy it for the, you know... To talk to anybody but the one thing that does work fairly pretty well 
is the is the siren that's on there. You get a, you get a siren on there, so if you see somebody that is breaking into your house or they're messing messing with your machines or something, you can sound the alarm and it'll hopefully scare them off. But it's it's not a very loud alarm, but it's enough to say, hey, if you or here, you know, this camera sees you. So, but the camera being in the garage is actually kind of a nice thing. Even though, even though with the webcam, I'll be able to see when the mailman's coming, you know, or FedEx or something. But the problem being is I never had a camera in the garage to watch them, you know, like, put my packages on the table or something in the garage you know because you always hear those horror stories about UPS FedEx and sometimes even the mail they get a little rough with your packages you know and they just whip them in your garage and then you end up with a damaged item and none of our people here do that I've never had anybody do that um, mailman never does it except well the old bastard he likes to cram them in your mailbox he doesn't throw them, but he likes to cram them in your damn mailbox. Um, and then the UPS guy and the FedEx guy, they've always treated my packages with respect. Um, they do come damaged you know, sometimes, but that's probably just during transit. You don't know what the hell happens during transit. But for the most part, you know, I've never had anybody throw them in my garage or anything like that. So... But this will allow me now to see that if it should ever happen. I do have to get an SD card shoved in there so it does record. Um, right now I can only, you know, pretty much just live stream it. Just watch it live, you know. So, well, I, I think uh, a base station might have to be the way to go. Might be the way to go. Um, just so I can monitor it even when I'm at home because, you know, I just like to monitor stuff when I'm at, even when I'm at home because I can't watch every square inch of my property, you know, and other stuff like that. It's impossible. Well, if I happen to be on the computer, you know, watching YouTube videos, at least then I got, I would have the security system off to my right and I can just peek at it every now and then, you know, or... I can see what the cats are doing, because the cats like to get into a lot of trouble around here. I can watch to see if somebody's walking around where they sh where they don't belong, you know, or anything, you know. I, I can monitor stuff better, and I think a base station might solve that issue, but again, if they're only going to work down to 14 degrees, that's not good, you know. That's not good at all. They cameras really need to last at least down to minus 40 you know I don't know what their base station units do I haven't uh, looked at those yet I mean I've glanced at them but I haven't read any information on them um but yeah something's probably going to have to get done about that because it's just you know I don't know. I don't know when anything anything will get done about it, but at least I have another layer of protection, um, you know, to see what's going on. I got the webcam that keeps an eye on the front yard. I guess I'll just have to keep rolling with that for now. And now I have a camera in the garage. But again, that will only work down to 14 degrees. So I imagine it'll be it'll probably be below that most of most of the winter. Um, shouldn't be too bad though because I mean it's not going to get the full force of winter on it's not going to get the wind blown on it you know it's not going to get snow covered on uh, anything like that so you know but yeah I don't know um not a not what I was I guess expecting to want but it is good I really like the notification part of it that's what I like about it. Um, it wasn't working before. I don't know why. It just wasn't working before. Um, even when I was in the garage, it wasn't working quite right. 
So I'm not too sure what was going on there, but now it's working fine. It seems to be working just fine. I don't know if it, maybe these things just have to run for a while, get kind of custom to where they're at and what they do and how things are around our area. You know, maybe the cameras just have to get comfortable with it, I guess. I don't know. But nothing would work, work at first, but now the notifications are working, which is a good thing. But, like I said, I do need to get an SD card put in there so I can have it record when it does sense movement. So, but other than that, it's um, an okay camera. Um, I don't just I don't know why it had an issue being in the window. I don't know if the window was messing with it or something, or if it was just that maybe it had to go through too many walls. I don't know if I could get like a Wi-Fi booster to boost the signal a little bit better for it. I don't know. But, it works fine in the garage. I mean, it's a little bit further away from the, the router. But again, it's only going through pretty much just one wall. You know. So, I don't know. I haven't had it uh, disconnect yet. It's always just timed out. But when it, when it was in the window, it always would always lose connection. And then it would, then it would always holler at me saying, Oh, you need to down the quality. You know, instead of doing 1080p, you need to do at least 720 or something, or even lower than that. You know, which is not what I want, because I want true 1080p quality, so I can see what the hell's going on. So, but it being in the garage, it seems to be working like it should. It's, I guess, better than what I would, because last night it was a freaking disaster. I mean, if I would have had, had left it, the way it was in the window and stuff, I probably would have given it maybe a 2 out of 5 stars. You know. But that's just mainly because it kept disconnecting and the timeout timer was kind of garbage. But, I think now, since I've moved it to the, to the garage, uh, I suppose I probably could give it maybe a 4 out of 5. I mean, that's pretty good, but again, it's still got some faults that I don't really care for it, but, you know, those are just, I guess, minor things, so, and you are not dealing with that, let it go, I don't know where these cats, don't know where these, let it go, let it go, cats are always uh, killing freaking birds around here. What the hell they're doing? This is ridiculous. Get out, get away from it. Just ignore it. Yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna find it no matter what. But I didn't, I don't have a, a stinking shovel with me to pick it up. So try my. I guess I'll try my knife. But. Yeah, so that's the way that's, uh, that's the way that's going to go. Ugh, stinking cats, got to kill birds all the fucking time, it's so stupid. I don't know why they act like they're, why they got to kill birds for? They get plenty of fucking food, so. Ugh. Life's not working too well either, but it's the only thing I got right now that can do this without me having to go get a spade. Alright, well they won't find it there. So but yeah, like I said, I it's I'm gonna give it at least a four out of five. Um I gotta test it a little bit more yet to see how I like it, but this is just kind of a you know, the first trial, um, I mean, it's only been up probably not, well, not quite 24 hours yet, but, um, 
it works fine in the garage. So I guess I'm going to roll with it being in there. As long as it works somewhere, I'm okay with it. But not it's not what I want, really. I guess I'm more or less into where I can monitor it all day long, like I've said, if I'm home. Um, I want to be able to monitor something when I'm at home. I want to be able to do that, and I don't know. I can do that. I can do that with the webcam, but I need a security system that I can do that with all the cameras, pretty much. So <coughs> I think to solve that problem, a base station, pretty much, you know, or a wired system is probably going to be the way to go. But they're more mar they're more money, and I'm not going to invest in one of those right now. Maybe next summer or something. But, as of right now, the camera's working fine. I'll give you guys another update later on. Um, it's uh, working fairly well in the garage, which is surprising because it wouldn't do, wouldn't do shit in the window. But, I knew that the sensors weren't, probably would most likely not work because of the glass. But, there's no reason to why it should be losing connection like that. But, it was. So, you know... That's just, uh, that's just the way it's going to be. But other than that, it's working fine in the garage. Um, at least I can watch things in there. I can see what the hell's going on. If there should be a cat fight or something stupid like that or whatever, you know. At least I can monitor stuff that way. Um, and, the, and like I said, the two-way audio thing on my end is a little bit low. Um... I'm not sure what else I need to do to adjust that. But I think I got everything adjusted correctly. So it should work. But it works. But when I talk in, like, when I talk into my phone and I go out to the camera, it, um, it's very quiet. And it should be a lot louder than that, I would think. Because it should be at least as, as loud as the siren is. And it's not. So... The, the two-way radio thing kind of thing is useless on it. it. I don't... That's kind of a crappy thing there. But... It's got good... I mean, the main thing is it's got good quality. Um, it's got a good connection now. And... You know, it's just the way it is. So... And uh, they give you plenty of mounting options, which is what I like, too. But, being outdoors, it's probably not the best thing for it. I mean, in the summertime, yeah, it's fine. It's perfectly fine. It's weatherproof and everything. Or waterproof. But, the winters here are extremely harsh. And I don't think they would survive. They would not last. The batteries would probably explode before they even, you know... They'd probably just freeze. You'd have to bring them in the house and unthaw them for a few hours. Just to even try to get them to recharge. They might even just instantly drain because they're trying to keep the camera warm i don't know but you know no i think a wired i guess system is going to be our best solution for that which kind of sucks because then you got to run all that freaking wiring everywhere but most of that will just be hidden in the in the attic anyway you're never going to see it so but i do give it a good solid four out of five anyway because of just how easy it is to connect to your Wi-Fi, um, you can monitor it from anywhere in the world. You know, as long as you got your phone connected to a Wi-Fi signal, you know, you should be able to do that. Um, you know, good quality. Um, you can zoom in and out a little bit too if you need to. It's better on the phone though. It's not so good on the computers, but it's better on the phone. Um, it's 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 a pretty solid unit. But like I said, the main thing is I just don't like the timeout timer on it. But again, I understand that is to make the camera last as long as possible. Um, that's why I figured, well, that camera might be a good solution for the garage. Because I don't really need to monitor the garage all day long, all night long, whatever. Kind of just more or less when there's something going on. And that's pretty much what it's giving me, it's letting me do. 
Uh, like I said, if there's a cat fight, I get plenty of those. They do a lot in the wintertime in the garage because they're all stuck together. But then at least we can I can quickly hop on a computer or on my phone and see what the hell's going on. And or if the mail comes, or if the UPS guy comes, or FedEx, whatever, and they put my, they, I can see who's bringing me my packages. Or if I get somebody coming to my house, like a salesman, or whatever else, you know, or just somebody that was coming here for whatever reason. Um, I can see who's coming in, in in the garage. I can watch them. I can see what they're doing. I can watch their every movement, you know. So, but yeah, and I, and I really like how wide the camera view is. It's extremely wide. I think I might turn the camera a little bit more to, it'd be to its left. Um, because that way I can cover the door and a little bit of the John Deere. You can see that about half the John Deere more is cut off. So if I just tweaked it a little bit more, I'd be able to get a little bit more of the John Deere in the view. Um, so, but yeah, I'm, I'm extremely impressed with that. That's, that's the reason why it's, it's another reason why it's getting a 4 out of 5. I don't know what it would take, I guess, to get a 5 out of 5. I guess... I guess maybe if they got rid of the timeout timer, you know, I would probably would do that. I mean, yeah, the the battery would, you know, would probably drain so quick, but it, I, there's no reason to why I couldn't leave it plugged into an outlet all the time. I mean, if you can leave a solar panel plugged into it all the time, I don't see why you can't leave it plugged into an outlet all the time. Um, and that's plus at least that way too. If you did. Leave it plugged into an outlet all the time. Then you let the camera going all day long and all night long. The battery would never really overcharge because it's constantly taking juice anyway. You know. So. I think if, if they made it an option where they got rid of the timeout timer. And. You know where I could monitor it 24-7 pretty much. Uh, it probably would be a, pr a pretty damn good camera. You know, it, it, it would probably definitely get a 5 out of 5 for me. But, yeah, since it's got those two little minor problems, um, oh yeah, and they also need to make the uh, two-way talk thing louder, too. Um, it just doesn't seem like it's loud enough. So, I, unless you have to scream into your bloody phone, but I shouldn't have to scream at the top of my lungs to talk to somebody. You know, that's that's kind of garbage. So, but other than that, it's good enough for me. It's good enough for the garage to monitor it, to see what's going on. Um, you know. But yeah. So that's pretty much it, guys. I don't. This video is already going to be like 40 minutes long. But I'll do another update later on. Um, you know, to talk about it and give you guys another. You know, just to let you guys know how it's, how it's doing and whatnot, so. But yeah, so anyways guys, I guess I'm going to take off, so I guess uh, have a good day and stuff and stuff, so yeah. Thanks for watching guys, take it easy.